Most cars, you check the transmission fluid the same way. With the engine off, you can check to see if there's fluid in the transmission. But to get the proper level, the engine has to be running and the car has to be on level ground. And the engine should be hot when you check it. You can check it when it's cold, but what if it's halfway in the middle of hot and cold? That's why it's best to check it when it's hot. The transmission level needs to be in the area that says hot when the temperature of the engine is hot. Sometimes the level's really hard to read, so you may have to pull the stick in and out a couple times. It's harder to read if the transmission's fresh and clean. Sometimes I'll flip the stick over and see if I can see the level on the other side and then flip it back. Then if you determine the fluid is a little low, you'll need to add some. You want to take your time with this process. You do not want to overfill the transmission. Too much fluid can cause unnecessary pressure in the transmission. So add a little bit, then start the engine, check it, and then you can add a little bit more. If you're in the designated area for hot and it's a little too low, that's better than being a little too high. This technique works for just about every car except Volkswagen and Audi. These cars, you have to check it underneath at the pan while the car's running. It's a whole nother story. Having a transmission dipstick is way easier. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it and I'll see you next time.